Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel SS Innovations. First of all, I would like to tell you that if you are watching this video first time, subscribe my channel to see my more upcoming videos on analysis of different commodities and equity indices. And second important thing is to watch this video till its end to understand this story to take your decision. Your one like will motivate me to be regular in working more hard for you. Let us start the day to analyze the movements of S&P 500 futures. So friends, here you can see a daily chart of S&P 500 futures where the S&P 500 futures showed a good jump on Friday. But here you can see that a lot of selling was there which resulted in formation of an exhaustive candle in a daily chart that the S&P 500 futures have tested their highs on Friday and now look ready to move downward when we are just going to enter the year 2020. So friends here find no doubt that uh, this jump was there in S&P 500 futures due to good economic data but the Federal Reserve which cut US interest rate for the first time since financial crisis more than a decade earlier. Most of the Asian countries have come up with stimulating packages to save their economies from the fear of global economic slowdown. I find that this move shown by global indices look suspicious because gold showed an equally strong move on Friday. Therefore, I find that uh, this unusual correlation between the movements of uh, S&P 500 futures and the gold futures look evident enough for an upcoming market crash when we are entering into 2020 and I find that a downward move below the level of 3220 before the beginning of 2020 will indicate the beginning of next market slump of 2020 where we will find the S&P 500 futures will show a mirror image of 2019 when the global equity indices showed a good jump during the year 2019 and here you can see that the S&P 500 futures was showing a steep downward move since October 2018 with the beginning of tariff trade war tussle between the US and the China. We have seen a sharp downward move in S&P 500 futures which continued up to the end of 2018 but when the year 2019 started the S&P 500 futures showed a good recovery which continued till yesterday and I find that this continuous journey up to these levels when the S&P 500 futures touched the highs of uh, 3254. Now I find that the year 2020 will show exactly the mirror image of this upward move. We will find that this may continue up to February 28, 2020. If we find the S&P 500 futures to break the levels of 2877, this will confirm the continuity of a downward trend in S&P 500 futures because I find that this steep upward move during the previous year was a couple of important drivers have emerged during the 2019. China was showing it was serious about the stimulus for its $14 trillion economy. And the other was the switching change of direction by the world's top central banks led by Federal Reserve which cut US interest rate for the first time since the financial crisis more than a decade earlier. Most of the Asian countries also stepped out with more stimulus packages to escape global economic slowdown fear. I find that the data on Friday showed profits at China's industrial firms grew at the fastest pace in 8 months in November but broad weakness in the country's domestic demand remains a risk for the company's earnings next year. Secondly, investors' expectations that the United States and the China will soon sign a phase on trade deal has added this momentum during the year 2019. But I find that if they sign even the first phase of this deal, which will pave new ways to more conflicts between the two major economies of the world because there are many issues which have been left unresolved during the phase 1 deal and I find that these issues may continue to create trouble during the days ahead which may impact the global economic slowdown 
during the year 2020. Therefore, I find that this formation looks evident enough to be the highest peak of this year and I find now the S&P 500 futures look ready to move downward. Here I would like to show you that how and why this rally looks full of suspicion. Let us have a look at the movements of uh, gold futures in a daily time frame. Here you can see the gold futures have been showing a continuous strength since uh, August 2019 here we can see that above the levels of dollar 1475 gold always find a good support amid this region and started to move upward and on Friday we have seen the gold touch the highs of dollar 1520 therefore this unusual correlation between the strong upward move of gold futures along with the global equity markets and I find that this unusual correlation between the gold futures and the S&P 500 look evident enough to indicate a first signal about an upcoming market crash during the year 2020. Now here I would like to show you the comparative movements of uh, gold futures and the S&P 500 futures. Here you can see that uh, this is the gold futures move and here you can see that how the gold futures have been maintaining a strong position above this level and since last few trading session when the S&P 500 futures started to move upward from December 4th 2019 gold futures have also started to move upward since then so I find that this correlated move where the gold futures are also maintaining a good strength along with the global equity markets where at a point here you can see the gold futures may close over this S&P 500 futures shortly. Let me zoom this portion for you. So here you can see that how the S&P 500 futures have been maintaining an uptrend since December 3rd 2019 and the gold futures have also maintaining an uptrend since then. Here I find that the S&P 500 futures have formed an exhaustive candle in a daily time frame whereas the gold futures look too sturdy above the levels of the 1515. Here I find that the gold futures may test the levels of the 1545 very shortly before the beginning of 2020 whereas the S&P 500 futures may take a steep downward move from these levels and I find that a downward move from these levels below the levels what the S&P 500 futures touched the lows of uh, December 13th. I find that a downward move of S&P 500 futures below this level will confirm the continuity of a downward trend. So friends here I find that the S&P 500 futures may enter the year 2020 at this level where they touched the lows of uh, December 13, 2019 and no doubt that if the S&P 500 futures enter 2020 at these levels, this will confirm the continuity of a downward trend in the S&P 500 futures. So friends, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video with your more and new friends. Thank you.